What's your name? Tarek. Tarek? Yeah. Wonderful, Tarek, I'm going to tell you about the envelopes. Now, they've all got something written on them. That helps me play the little game. It's what helps me mess in your head. You see, the first envelope has got something written on it. Now, this is the only envelope that's got something written on it, even though all of the other envelopes do have something written on them. But it's not something, it's something else, even though it's not something else. <laughs> it's got something written on it, even though all of the other envelopes do have something written on them. But it's not something, it's something else, even though it's not something else. <laughs> okay, don't try and work it out. The question you've got to ask yourself, Tarek, is would I put the money in the envelope that says it's got something well, in it? If you don't go for well, envelope number one, Tarek, you might go for envelope number two. Envelope number two says nothing, even though it says something, but as I promised, it's not something else. <laughs> Yourself, is would I put the money in the envelope that says it's got nothing in it? That seems a little bit too obvious, but maybe it's a double double bluff. No. These aren't really questions I'm, I'm looking for answers for. But thanks, thanks. Envelope number two, which has nothing on it, you might go for envelope number three, which says yours. Now, everybody likes what is rightfully theirs, but this isn't theirs, it's yours. <laughs> the question is, would I put the money in the envelope that says it's yours? But of course, you read it, you think it's mine, but it's not mine, it's yours, it says on the front. Now, if you don't go for envelope number three that says yours, you might go for envelope number four, which says mine. And you will notice that mine is much bigger than yours. <laughs> Envelope number four, you might go for the last envelope, envelope number five. Envelope number five says sex. The question is, would I put the money in the envelope that says sex? Who knows? Maybe I'm gambling that you're not the type of man who would ask so many for girls yet to choose an envelope. <laughs> Tarek, take sex. Tarek, open up the envelope. Inside you will find a John Archer commemorative zero dollar bill, is that correct? Hold it up, let me have a look. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Open it up. Honey, inside you will find a John Archer commemorative zero dollar bill, is that correct? Yep. Hold it up, let me have a look. Yes! You can have a seat. Thank you want yours? You can take yours. Wonderful. Open it up. Have a look inside. Inside you will find a John Arch commemorative zero dollar bill. Is that correct? Yeah. There it is. Give her a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. You can have a seat. Open it up. Inside you will find a John Arch commemorative zero dollar bill. Is that correct? Sure. Nothing else in the envelope. Hold it up. Show everybody. Give her a big round of applause. Inside the envelope, ladies and gentlemen, there is indeed 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 pounds.